get the results that you're looking for. So today, what we're going to do is start off with something fun. And I recently moved to a new city here in Kansas City, and I am redecorating my apartment. And so this is not a business template, but this is just something fun to show you how Notion works and how you can utilize it for your own interests, whether within your business or personally. And so within Notion, you will have a page. And in this page here, you have templates that you can choose from within the Notion database, or you can choose these existing fields, or you can just start it off with a Word document by starting to type here where the cursor is. So I'm gonna start off and title the document, New Home Design. And because I want to add multiple tables in here for each room within the apartment, I am going to not choose one of those databases and instead add a new field. So if you have a WordPress site or even Shopify, you are probably familiar with adding blocks. Notion is set up the same way so that you have the option to add blocks. When you hover over the plus icon here, you then have a choice of multiple blocks here to choose from. So inline is within, database can then just change. So this would be a separate page that would open into like a sub page or if you wanted it immediately within the page, then you have inline. So that's gonna be your difference between inline and full page. But to get started, what we'll do is the different rooms of the home. So bedroom, bathroom, kitchen, living area, and office. And also over here, if you hover over the top right hand corner of the screen you see the three dots this allows you to change the format so i like the more serif font and then the full width for the page so let's say if you are designing a new home and trying to figure out or even like moving into a new space or remodeling certain rooms within your own home you may have a shopping list a task list and then an inspiration board. And I'm highlighted that real quick. I'm going to change this into a header to make it stand apart. The shopping list and the task list, I may not want them necessarily full. So I'm gonna drag it next to it. So then I have two columns here. And if I wanted, I could drag the inspiration board right next to it and make it an additional column, but I don't wanna do that because I want to be able to see it fully. So within the task list, then I can add below and create a toggle list. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this task list, turn that into the toggle list so that way it hides. Drag that up underneath and then change this to a checklist, which is a to-do list. Same here with a shopping list. I'm going to turn this into a toggle list and then change this into a to-do list. So that way it makes it really easy to then hide these. So that way they don't take up the entire screen. The other thing that you can do to make these headers stand out is you can make them bold. You can add a background color. So we'll do blue. Then with the inspiration board, I'm going to add a gallery. So you can type in what you want and it will pull it up in the square. So this is going to be a gallery in line. 
we'll say mood board. automatically puts information in here, but what I want to do is put images of things for the bedroom. And so I'm, I've already pinned some things, so I've gotten ahead of here. I'm going to take those items from my Pinterest board and place them over there. So the fun thing about this mood board then is you're tapping on the top three buttons here on the side, you can see properties and then the card preview can either show the page content or the page cover, just like a header. So because I pasted the image into the content or the body of the page, then we'll show page content. And I don't necessarily need a name right now, but if I wanted to do that, I could and that would show there as well. So I'm just going to real quick add a couple more items in here. So quickly there, you can see sort of your vision for the room because you see all the images at a glance. And then if I wanted to then go ahead and go for the shopping list, then I would add duvet cover. Headboard. Room divider. and then prints. And I'm gonna change my mind about this because I want this to actually be blue. Just back to default. So that way it's easier for me to see each section as I'm designing here. And then also here, you can add a cover to the page or an icon to make it stand out within your database. So icon here, I can add then a home, make it easy for me to recognize the project that I'm working on, add a cover. So I designed covers yesterday using Canva and I have a personal banner that I'm using. So that way I know those projects. And so this is just up at the top, but it adds an element of personalization to your page 
only you see it unless you choose to share it up here at the top. And you can see the options here. You can add people, you can publish it to the web, or you can allow people within your workspace to view it. We're gonna keep it private here for now. For the task list, then you can add elements to measure wall for art. And then iron, linens, whatever you wanna do. You can add the task list in there and then the shopping list as well. Mm -hmm. Another thing that makes it easy is then on this mood board, you can add in additional details. So for example, the room divider. So where are you purchasing it from? So it could be easy if there are stores that you go to frequently, you can add it in here and then you know, like if you are of a shopping list, you can select all the items from Ikea, all the items from Target, all the items from Restoration Hardware, wherever you choose to shop. You can also then add numbers. So let's say this is $80. You can change this so that it shows up as dollars. And if you wanted, then you can show this information on the front card here. I'm gonna change this title to store. But you also then can view this differently. So if you wanted to say, make this a shopping list. Then you could see the items on the list here, the cost, what stores they're from. You can also have the total cost of your shopping list. So let's say these are $50. This is $750. The linens, $150. So you can look and see what your budget is there. So Etsy, Ikea, Target. And then to make it easy, you can put the shopping link in here. Make this a URL. So then it's easy for you to, I'm gonna delete this because I don't need this column. Then you have the information that you need and it's quickly available when you're working on your design. So then you can replicate this for each room in your home. There's additional things you can do as well, but this just gets you started so you can see the potential using Notion just for your personal projects and how you can customize it by adding color, moving blocks around, and adding images to make it really work for you. So if you have any questions, you are welcome to contact me. You can email me at hello at melissakjones.com or you can DM me on social media, whether on Twitter or Instagram at the CE office. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.